Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm gonna to give an overview of open access. Open access is a big topic and it's been a major force in publishing over the last 15 years. Open access or OA usually refers to journal publishing, but it can also refer to other formats such as books or monographs. Open access means that the journal articles or material are free of all restrictions to access such as needing a subscription, which means that they're available to anyone, anywhere, at any time, assuming you have internet access. Usually, open access means that the material also has limited or no restrictions on its use, such as a copyright restriction. Finally, the material is usually peer-reviewed and online only versus online only and in paper format. Open access emerged as a force in the early 2000s it got its start when several factors were coming together. First was the growth of the internet, which allowed OA to be born and to flourish. Next was the emerging idea that research and its associated writing was many times funded by a government or another grantor, and therefore there should be no subscription barriers to that material. Also the idea that many of the authors of the material and the researchers were university employees or the like, and therefore there should be limited barriers to that material. The last factor was that institutional subscription pricing had risen dramatically. For-profit publishers had set the price for some journals at $1,000 all the way up to $10,000 or even more, dramatically raising the price and putting them out of the reach of many institutions and many users. So if there's no subscription revenue, how does OA actually work? An open access journal may operate under the gold OA model. This means that the author would be responsible for an APC or author processing charge. This fee could be anywhere from a few hundred dollars all the way up to $3,000 or even more. And it's only paid by authors on an accepted article. The APC is incurred, that's incurred is usually reimbursed or paid for through a grant by the individual author or by an institution, but sometimes is paid for by the author themselves. There are other OA models, such as Green OA. This means that the author places their article at a repository that's available to everyone, usually run by, the, by a university or the like. And then there's the hybrid OA model, which means that some articles are available through open access, while others are available through the traditional subscription model. Open access will continue to flourish, but beware of predatory publishers. More on that later. Well, that's it. Click on any of these links to learn a little bit more about open access or see more information about me. And leave comments below or send me an email. Thanks very much and take care.